Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about how the content is at its peak for Gorilla Tag right now. And just like the different ways that Gorilla Tag is probably getting a lot of attention at the moment. With the first way being how there's the launch, recently there was the launch of some of the biggest Gorilla Tag fan games, such as Yeeps right here. And Scary Baboon, also right here. And those brought a lot of attention to the Gorilla Tag mechanics. And probably brought some more attention to Gorilla Tag. Another way it getting attention being with the Pride update recently. In a, a kids game, a lot of... It's a very controversial update is what I'm trying to say. Personally, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I'm not in the pride group specifically, but, you know, it's kind of good to get the, I'm glad there's like bounce houses and stuff. I really do enjoy all of the bounce houses with the next way being the illustrator batch coming out soon, like earlier today at the time of recording this at least, um, they, Gorilla Tag officially announced a uh, Finger Painter level two, or tier 2 with the Creator Troop program called the Illustrator Badge. They announced a couple people that would be getting it. I'll put those people on screen. But I was a little surprised that J-Man currently isn't getting it. So I'm not sure what that's about. You would think the biggest... Girl Tag YouTuber would be one of the first to get tier 2, but I'm not sure. But I did notice, I know a couple people on here with like, um, Elliot and some of the other people on here. I can recognize their names. And that's just bringing a lot of, that's gonna bring some attention to the game with a new batch. That's even more exclusive. Finger painters already. People go crazy. So I just can't imagine how people will go crazy for an even more exclusive. Because you have to be a finger painter in the first place, place, which is super rare. And then you have to get handpicked by Gorilla Tag themselves. Like, you can't apply for it. They have to notice your content. I mean, which they notice all finger painters' content. It's just... Um... You know, they, it's just a lot harder to get that, like, hype to see that, because just imagine level four, it's already, just imagine that, you'd have to be illustrator to get level three, probably, it's just gonna be insane how rare these badges are, and, um, the last thing that's bringing my attention is bunch of new finger painters like i know a lot of people realized that recently they weren't accepting people in they said they would do 10 a month and then they were like doing one for a while and then they just stopped accepting people which it makes sense to me i know a lot of people are getting angry and, and not getting angry but they aren't a big fan of it including jack noham which i do agree with him some like viking vr I think I should get it, but you know, it, it's whatever. It's just a couple people who haven't got it. Who knows? Maybe they'll get it soon. But then now I notice that they're recently starting to accept it. People with Peanut, uh, Smokey, uh, Alec VR, and one I am a little more familiar familiar with, which is Bubbles, all uh, deserve it. I know. Peanut, Alec, and, um, Smokies are bigger on TikTok. <laughs> Whereas, I'm not sure if Bubbles has a TikTok. I don't really use TikTok. But, I know <laughs> at least Bubbles has a, a YouTube, which I am more familiar with. Because <laughs> I have been subscribed for a little bit. But, all of that is just bringing a lot of attention to Gorilla Tag itself, and we could get a bunch of new players, 
I don't know. It's just a lot of new stuff. It's just, it's crazy how much stuff is happening throughout Gorilla Tag. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But 